Welcome to September's Lead Code Challenge. Today's problem is break a palindrome. Given a palindromic string of lowercase English letters, replace exactly one character of any lowercase English letter so that the resulting string is not a palindrome and that it is the lexicographically smallest one possible. Return the resulting string. If there is no way to replace a character to make it not a palindrome, return an empty string. A string A is lexicographically smaller than a string B. If, in, if it's in the first position where A and B differ, A has a character strictly smaller than the corresponding character in B. So for example, ABCC is lexicographically smaller than ABCD. Because the first position they differ is the fourth character, and C is smaller than D. So I think that should be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if we're given a palindrome of ABCCBA, the smallest one is going to be AACCBA. So we can kind of already tell that there's kind of a formula here. We want to find the first character that's not an A and make it an A. Okay. Uh, now the exception to this is if it's a single character, A, B, C, or whatever, that is a palindrome, but there's no way to uh, replace this single string, so single string so that it's not a palindrome, right? So that's going to be our kind of edge case. If it's a length of one, we want to just return an empty string. Now otherwise, say that we had all A's, then there's no A to turn to a B, right? If that's the case, we want to do it the opposite way. We want to find the first, the last A, and make that a B. So here with AA, we want to make that AB. And same with here, ABA, the thing is, we'll first go through this and try to make B an A, but unfortunately that's still a palindrome, right? AAA. So then if that's the case, we're going to try the other way and make this into a B and that's going to be ABB, that's going to be what we return. All right, so let's first create the palindrome into a list. And this will allow us to easily replace letters. We're also going to keep track of the length of P. So the first thing we want to do is for I in range of N, let's first find the first A, or I'm sorry, the first non-A and make it a A, okay? So uh, if P of I is not equal to A, then we're going to make it an A. And then we can just break out of this loop and return this. Uh, I forgot about the edge case. The edge case is if N equals 1, then we return an empty string. Otherwise here, we're just going to return the string join of, of P, right? But keep in mind, this might still be a palindrome. So it's only if it's not a palindrome. What we can do is say if P does not equal, let's say, P uh, reversed. Then we'll return it. Otherwise, what we'll have to do is try the other way. We're going to start from the very end and find the first A and make that into a B. So for that, we will reinitialize our P. And we're going to go backwards. 4I in range of N minus 1 minus 1 minus 1. We're going to find the first A if P of I is equal to A, we'll make that into A, B. And then we break out of this, and finally just return the string join of this P. Okay, so let's make sure this works. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Hmm. Let's see, P, if it is not a palindrome, we should return it. Why is not that not working? Oh, I'm sorry, this should be A. That's silly of me. Okay, so this should return AACBA. Let's go ahead and submit that. And there we go, accepted. So time complexity wise, it's gonna be O of N. We do go through it twice, but still O of N. But we do use extra space for this list, but whatever, I think that's worth it so that we could uh, easily change the characters here. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.